Greetings and salutations. My name is Michael Schwann, and today we are checking out Remnant 2. Now, the easiest way to describe Remnant is what if Dark Souls was designed with cooperative multiplayer in mind, and what if you had a lot of guns? And that is what you get from Remnant. And it's it's pretty good, okay? I played the first one, I played all the way through it with a friend, and it's definitely better with friends. It is a multiplayer first game. You can do it solo, and I know that they added a class in Remnant 2 to make the game more approachable solo, but the game through and through is definitely designed for you to have at least one friend, preferably two. Unfortunately, the maximum number of players that you can have as a squad is three. I really wish that they would have added a four player as a multiplayer option in here uh, because of other circumstances going on but regardless remnant that's what you're looking into uh, let's take a closer look at what remnant 2 looks like and i'll i'll share my thoughts as we go especially compared to the first game so here's remnant 2 Well, if that's gameplay footage, that's a graphics update. Do you think he wants to snuggle? Some Resident Evil shit. Oh, that sucks. <laughs> he shot a fucking bow at it, and the dude said, Cool story, give me a hug. <laughs> I think he chose the wrong weapon. I'm sad, there was a really cool celestial chick like immediately after that and I missed all of it. <laughs> oh, that looks bad. Man, you're dead. You took so many hits. You're a corpse. All right, so that's the official announcement trailer. Uh, I There's a lot of trailers available for this game. I Did I put it in here? I did not. Um, I'll put in the description down below a link to their entire YouTube channel because they did like a special trailer for like every single class, and I think that's just a little bit much for us to check out. But this is the Best Friends trailer, follow, and it's going to be followed by... No, it's just this is just Best Friends trailer, which I believe is the trailer that's showing off the, one of the classes that that brings a AI with you, um, but we'll reconfirm right now. So here's the best friends trailer. You can lead me into Looks like Fallout. I will follow you. Bring back the light where only darkness lies. You can pet the dog. We will see it Look how happy he is. Don't give the dog a hug. Yeah, get him, puppy. Get him. Don't you hurt that dog. <laughs> he swung right over top of the dog. <laughs> I want to believe that, like, based on the footage we've seen, the enemy has not hit the dog, right? They've missed, the dog has jumped out of the way, swung over the top of it. I want to believe that the devs had like an internal rule that nothing's allowed to hit the dog. I doubt that that's true, but I would really love it if that was true. Like, it sounds hard to balance, but I do hope that that's the case. Oh, oh. 
Oh, good job, dog. Sorry, we're hurt. Can you res us? Oh, thanks. Good dog. That is one fearless animal, by the way. Oh my god. Okay, so I think what I said is true. That the dog can't get hit, which is excellent, right? Because one of the reasons that in the first game that multiplayer was superior to playing it solo is one, because you have guns. Um, one of the things that a lot of bosses have is they have adds. You have smaller non-boss enemies that are added to the boss fight as a distraction. And some of them have their own range weapons and stuff to make you utilize your guns, right? Um, but the other thing was reses. You could res your friends, which was awesome and cool and great. And you couldn't if you were alone. <laughs> um, and that's what the, I think it's called Animal Handler is for. Um, it will it is meant to be a class that allows you to play solo. The dog will very clearly res you if you die. I don't know under what circumstances. And it doesn't look like the dog can be hit. So that's that's really awesome. Okay, moving on. This is the introduction to the world of Remnant. I, I feel like this should say Worlds of Remnant, but maybe this game plays out differently. Humanity's thirst for knowledge led to our greatest triumph and our ultimate downfall. We opened the door to worlds beyond our comprehension. But from that door, an unimaginable evil called the Root slipped through and destroyed everything. A couple decades back, we dealt the Root a heavy blow, bought ourselves some time. We rebuilt as best we could licked our wounds and forged a path forward, step by step. But our time is running out. Everything is prey to the root, and as long as they exist, we will always be hunted. That's where you come in. We need you to journey to some dangerous yet wondrous worlds, and stop mm. the root once and for all. To survive, you'll need to push every skill you've got to its limit. But we don't just need you to survive. Puppy. We need you to prevail. Use whatever gear you can find. Modify your weapons with what you can scrounge up in your travel. And be smart. I wonder if the melee will be better in this game. There was melee options in the first game. They were not great. Stop this infestation before it extinguishes the last flickering flame of humanity. If you fail, oh, oh, to say, failure isn't an option. Well, that was cool as hell. Oh, oh, that sucks. That's everything we know and love. I wonder if they added a melee focused class. He has a shotgun on his back, but he was wielding the sword first. So, just to clarify, so there is a stamina system in the game, much like Dark Souls, but melee attacks in the first game didn't consume stamina. The only thing that consumed stamina was dodge rolls. And melee looked cool, and there were some cool melee weapons, but none of them were very good. And I think it's because they didn't cost stamina, so you could just use them infinitely. Um, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't mind there being a class that had a melee focus that then the melee attacks used stamina, but you did, like, realistic amounts of damage. Um. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. So this is the co-op gameplay trailer. We have no choice. The root will destroy everything for all time. I feel like art designers for Remnant go really hard. Like the weapon designs, the creature designs, the environment designs. It's such a cool looking universe, right? Back after this. 
You sure? Co-op, you say? Yes, Athena. The game is very co-op focused. Or at least the first one was. Yeah, they have melee weapons, Vanishar. The question is, is did they implement a way in this in this one to make them good? Because there was no way to make them good in the first game. <laughs> they were mostly just a get off me tool rather than actually I'm going to kill you with this big fuck off hammer tool. Some portal shit. Man, what is that crazy ass railgun that he's using? There were some really cool boss designs and boss fights in this game. Available July 25th. You can actually play it right now if you spend an extra 20 bucks. Uh, this game is reasonably priced. It is priced at $50 for the base game. Uh, and the ultimate edition that does give you early access is only $70. So if you want to pay like the current running AAA price for games, you can play it right now. Um, otherwise, you'll have to wait until the 25th. Uh, but otherwise, yeah, 50 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Okay, this is the last one in the most recent trailer called Surviving the Post-Apocalypse Trailer. Wow. In Remnant 2, players must survive the odds to save humanity from total annihilation. Encounter otherworldly threats. Familiar faces. You say familiar, I doubt I will remember any of them. Enemies to put their skills to the test. Despite humanity's tentative foothold on Earth, the threat of the root remains. Players must use world stones to travel to and explore hostile realms. These include Yeish's corrupted jungles and mysterious ziggurats, Blossom's towering cathedrals and ramshackle villages, and Nerud's forsaken surface and derelict stations. In Remnant 2, staying on the move is essential. Players yeah, you get shot less. out of enemy fire, dodge devastating attacks, and use the environment to their advantage. Study enemy behavior and discover their weaknesses to secure victory. The path oh. forward is unforgiving. You are dead. They need more than their wits to make it back to the fight. Exploring the worlds of Remnant 2 requires keen perception to secure invaluable resources. Players must use consumables to improve combat abilities or cure status effects. Reveal hidden secrets to discover powerful artifacts. And gather crafting materials to enhance their arsenal. I wonder if they're still doing procedural generation stuff. The key to success is preparation. Yeah, clothing. Gear up to tackle any obstacle in the way. Exotic firepower awaits. From ancient armaments to alien creations. Seriously, those are cool looking Players guns. Can get up close and personal with melee weapons like staves and swords. Use heavy armor for a tanky build, or take a more agile approach. Accessories can be mixed and matched for powerful combat bonuses. I love trailers like this that are just like, here's the game, here's how it works. Versatility is key. Players can face dangers head on. Take threats out from that a melee was doing something. Or bring a faithful friend along for the ride. Oh no, the dog has an Whatever HP bar. Style, archetypes provide the right tools for the job. And each archetype has unique perks and skills to gain the advantage. To survive, choose wisely and find the best combination. Players can either face the fight alone 
or team up for maximum effect. Sorry, I can't heal you. I gotta heal the dog. The entire story can be experienced as one, two, or three players. Players can set their own difficulty for an authentic remnant experience or a truly apocalyptic challenge. <laughs> the, the hardest difficulty was just described as generated. good luck. <laughs> so players will find fresh encounters every time they play. Unimaginable worlds, unrelenting odds, remnant two. I don't mean to be like a semantic prick, okay? But like when you're pitching a video game to somebody and you use the words unimaginable worlds, clearly someone imagined it to make it a video game. But that's fine. <laughs> but that's fine. So yeah, that's Remnant 2. Looks really good. Uh, I do know that the reviews for this game are already out and the general consensus is if you enjoyed the first game, you'll really enjoy the second one because it's the first one but made better, smoother, and with improvements and additions, which is cool for the people that have played the first one. I don't actually know how well the first one did. I know that it didn't review very well because a lot of people were hypercritical of the idea of it's Dark Souls with guns. And like, that is a very drastic oversimplification of it, which even I myself made, but it's the most accurate way to describe it. But it definitely does feel like its own game and its own experience. It's not just a derivative of Dark Souls with guns, but that's Remnant 2, looks super cool. Enjoy it a lot. Would like the opportunity to play it. Don't know when I'll get to play it because since it's not four player, I can't play it on the Saturday streams over on Athena Latina's channel um, because we normally do four player games and, and three is only when somebody's gone. And I also know that my best friend that I played the first game with is going to buy this and play it before I even get off work, essentially. Like, they will have already, like, played all the way through it and beaten it in, like, a day and a half because that's just the way they are. So I don't know when I'll get the chance to play this, but I definitely want to because... The first one was really good, and if this is the first one but better, sounds great. But let me know what your thoughts are. If you played the first Remnant, how did you find it? Did you enjoy it? If you didn't, are you willing to maybe give the sequel a chance? Or are you like, nah, man, I'm just going to wait for Armored Core or whatever is, you know, the, the next Soulsian that's coming up. Lies of P is the next relevant one. Armored Core isn't a Soulsian. But regardless, uh, let me know down in the comments below if you want to keep up the conversation elsewhere. Two great places to do so are Discord and Twitter, or apparently Twitter is going to be called X now. I don't know. I hate it here. I'm also on Threads and Blue Sky, so hit me up on any of those social media apps, and let's have a conversation, much like the conversation we've been having here on stream, because this video was recorded live, and I would love to see you there. If you enjoyed this video, please leave it a like. If you want to catch future videos, please subscribe to the channel. Do watch one of the other videos on the channel, or if I see you in the live stream, thank you, and enjoy.